Hello, I'm going to share a coffee filter and water-based marker uh, techniques today. And I'm going to show you some of the school projects, some of the projects that were done by students. Uh, one of them was a, uh, we did some chihuly plates. We're done with the coffee filters and markers. Uh, we also did um, spirit bears or spirit ponies. There's one there. And hummingbirds. Of course, the thing I like to do is miniature kites using coffee filters. And yes, they actually do fly. So this is some of the minis. And we'll go ahead and get started talking about the materials that we're going to need. First of all, we'll need some coffee filters. Uh, so these are just your basic diffusion paper coffee filters. Comes in different shapes. This one's been cut open. Comes in really big size, mega size coffee filter. You can also buy uh, color diffusion uh, paper, and it's the same type of materials as coffee filters. This comes in uh, 12 by 18 inches. And we're going to need a waterproof. Uh, something waterproof underneath the coffee filter so it doesn't stain the tabletops. Um, so like a plastic pa uh, placemat works. Uh, something that is waterproof underneath is what we'll need. Um, the markers, I prefer Crayola brand markers. Um, not the washable version. I like the uh, regular teacher preferred version. And I, I prefer the 20 pack because of the variety of colors. So this is my favorite pack. Uh, Crayola also makes an extremes markers, which are just kind of ultra bright. And those work well also. Um, we're going to need some water. And so we need a water squirter, something that will squirt a, a mist of water. And so just these little pumps work well. And we're going to use some salt also, some regular table salt that... Uh, works well. You can use the kosher salt or sea salt or big grains of salt. But I, I like table salt. It works well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get set up and we'll do a little demonstration on how to use the markers and the salt. All right, so I just show a little, uh, some samples. Uh, these are, this is just a color wheel sample. This was the Crayola uh, Extreme Markers. And you can see the little white specks in there. That's the salt, uh, the effect that salt has on uh, with the water-based markers. It does not work as well on yellows and oranges and reds, um, but it works on the greens and the uh, blues, purples really well. Uh, this is just uh, another color wheel done. And again, you can kind of tell there that the yellows and oranges just don't have the little white spots, and that's from the salt effect. Okay. This one here is just browns and oranges and blacks. And some purples and blues and greens on this version. You can see lots and lots of white spots and that's from the salt. This one had um, a lot of water put on it, so the salt effect wasn't as, a, as effective and it's diluted down a little bit more, more of a pastel kind of color. Um, you can see on this one, again, the yellows and reds do not have the white on them from the uh, salt. This one has had a lot of water on it. And so you can see how it's diffused, lost a lot of its color, but still effective. These are just individual little um, kites that I would do. And so I'll get a variety of colors on and designs on one sheet of coffee filter. So this is a before and after. And uh, this is what the coloring looked like. This is after I squirted it with the water and put a little bit of salt on it. So the before and after. So now we'll go ahead and get started on a, uh, a new one. All right, so we'll get started on a coffee filter here. Got our waterproof uh, underneath it. And we're going to have a paper towel handy just to wipe up the uh, marker or the uh, fluid that goes through the coffee filter. All right, so I'm going to start off. I'm just going to do a bunch of blues. 
uh, for this project. And I'm going to use the broad side instead of the tip. So this is this is using the tip, and it just doesn't put a lot of color down. When you use the side, you can get a lot of color in there. Okay, so we're just going to do some random abstract designs. I'm not letting the fluid saturate the uh, paper. Just moving it around. So when the students would do this at school, sometimes they would just, they'd like to color the entire thing and just saturate it. And you don't have to do that because it's gonna, it's gonna bleed into the other colors. It's gonna diffuse. So you can just go spread it around. If there's a little bit of white showing, that's okay. It's not gonna hurt anything. Colors will blend. I'll get some others in here. Again, I like these Crayola broad tips. The pencil ones, um, they work just as well, but it's just a finer tip is all, and so it just takes a little more time to color with them. So I like using the big ones. I'll go back now. I'm looking for white spaces that I may have too much white. I'll just fill some of that in. And we'll get some more dark in there. Get a little spread that around. Okay to overlap the colors. And in your experimenting, you'll find out what color combinations work well and which ones don't. And so just try all different combinations. All right. We're gonna add a little water to it now. I'm gonna spray the outside edge first, just to lay it down. Now, I don't want to put too much water on it. Too much oversaturation kills the effect. And I'm going to spread it out, take the little puckers out, the little bubbles out. I'm looking to see if there's enough water on there. Looks like there's enough. A little shot right there. Okay, now I'm going to add the salt. And the salt only works one time. You have to put it on while the coffee filter's wet. And just a pinch. So this is about all that's needed. It's just a little bit, okay? Too much, and what happens is it doesn't work as well, and it creates little black spots. So the salt is kind of pushing the color pigment away, absorbing the water, but pushing the color pigment away, and so it creates little white spots. And we just don't want too much salt on there. So now what we have to do is we have to just wait for this to dry. It takes about 10-15 minutes. At school, what would the students would do is they would have their uh, placemats. They could just pick up the placemats. We could walk outside, set them down um, on the ground in the sun, and they would dry in just a couple of minutes, and we could take them back in and finish the project. Um, so we'll let this dry, and we'll come back and finish the project. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes now, and this is pretty close to being dried. So what we have to do is brush off the salt that's on here, and we're just going to rub that off and into the garbage. And do that real quick. Any extra salt we don't want on there. All right, salt's gone. Here we go. We're back. So now what we have is we have these silhouettes of some of the animals that the students could choose from. And our little spirit ponies. Little spirit bears. And so what they do is they cut out on the outline and then tape it back together. There's just a little piece of tape here that tape it back together. And we're going to use this image on top of the coffee filter. And we're just going to move it around until we find this the design that we like or the pattern that looks best. 
and we can flip it over. We can try all kinds. And this, this took the students probably the longest time was trying to figure out exactly where they wanted that, but I'm not going to fuss with it. So I'm going to stick with that right there. And yeah, let's see, maybe, yeah, we'll stick with that one there. And there's a couple of ways to do this. You can take a pencil and trace on the inside, or I like using um, metallic markers, the Crayola brand uh, metallic markers. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just put this on the inside and trace around. Hold that a little bit tighter. And this will just give me an outline that I can cut. have that. Okay, so what we need to do is we're going to cut out around the edge of this, but not right on the outline. So I can just cut out around that. glue this with a glue stick. Just glue this right on there. And I can use a pencil to kind of give me an outline where I need to go. Keep the glue inside here. All right. So, only need the glue in there. Just press that on there, smooth it out, okay, now we just cut out on the outline. And so what we end up with is something like this guy. It's just been cut out on the outline. And then one of the things we can do is we can take a, a construction paper behind it and either glue it to the construction paper and then cut out around to have a black border. Or we can tear the paper so we can glue it to construction paper and then just tear around the edge of it. There's one example of that. There's another example where it's just been torn around the edge. And then it can be just mounted on um, some more cardstock, or in this case, this is some scrapbooking paper. And here we have a spirit pony. Now I use the metallic markers to put some little designs on this one. And that's what the students would do. And they could do this in about 45 minutes. They could have this project done. So I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll see you later.